Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and hopefully insights that will set you up for a successful growing season. Today we're going to talk about strip freshening. We do a lot of fall strip till at the PTI farm and one of the things that we evaluate every spring is do we need to come in and freshen or regenerate some of the strips that we made in the fall. And it all kind of depends on what kind of winter we've had, you know, what kind of weathering we've had to go through, how much water we've had, especially high, you know, high amounts of rainfall, things like that. Um, but we're using a Yetter strip freshener at our PTI farm. We've been doing this for a couple years now. Again, to, to take our fall strips that we made um, and then we come in in the spring and just kind of regenerate them to make sure that we have a good seed bed to plant into when we bring that planter in to plant that corn and or soybean crop. So the advantages of a, of a, of a strip freshener are basically three things. And I do think the most important one is the regeneration of the strip. If we've had high amounts of rain, we've got some erosion factors going on in the field, we need to fix those strips. Some folks, uh, depending on whether it's first year corn or corn after corn, may just want some warming of the soil to dry that, get that, that soil to dry out a little quicker. Some folks are looking at it as the ability to not only you know, do the strip regeneration and trying to get the soils to warm up, but in addition, they're trying to put fertility on. So whether that be some phosphorus right over the road that we're gonna plant into, or whether it be nitrogen. So those are some of the main advantages that we've seen at the PTI farm with the strip freshener. So here you can see kind of a, a picture of, of some of the research we've done out. This is on first year corn. This was soybeans last year. And you can kind of see where we made the fall strips and we've come in and we freshened in the spring. So it is allowing that soil to warm up and some of these strips just look beautiful. And again, it's creating a wide enough strip so that planter row unit will fit right on top of that strip, just a perfect seed bed for us. Here's kind of a close up version of the strip. Uh, this was back in 2018, just creating beautiful strips. Now this is in bean stubble. I think it's pretty easy uh, to create some pretty nice strips with a freshener in bean stubble. It get, just gets a little more complicated when we get into corn stalks for corn after corn, but that's when probably it's even more important to use a strip freshener in my opinion. This is some of the strips we made a year ago during the fall, and I think the strips were just gorgeous. And you know, the best case scenario with strip till is we don't need to regenerate the strips. We don't need to freshen in the spring. Here we've got some beautiful strips. They're nice and wide. That planter can sit right on top of it perfectly. And we, and we weathered the winter really well. So here's a case where I don't know that we needed to freshen, but I always want to have the option, the flexibility. If we need to fix some of these strips, we can do it with a strip freshener. So here's a couple tips that, that we've kind of come across as we've been freshening at the PTI farm. Number one, this is a high speed tillage tool. If you don't have the horsepower or you want to freshen strips going slow, I just don't know that it's going to work very well. Uh, here's us out in the field. We've got a 20 foot strip freshener and we're going at speeds of eight to 10 mile an hour. And we want to do this to mix the soil and regenerate. We need enough soil moving. In order to do that, we need to do it in high speed. So this is a high speed tool, okay? One of the best ways to know whether you're going fast enough to, to rebuild some of the berms is, is look at the, uh, the tail we're throwing, the rooster tail on the back of the strip freshener. When you get that moving, you know, two to three foot high, you're doing a really good job of, of doing enough tillage to regenerate that strip. And that also tells you that you're probably going fast enough to achieve that. Number two is the, the biggest thing I've noticed um, with residue managers is the ability to adjust them on the fly. So I think we need to have a residue manager. If we don't wipe the residue away, we're gonna be hairpinning. It can wick moisture away. And with corn after corn, that could be a carbon penalty. So one of the things that we're doing is we're using clean sweep and residue managers, just like we would put on a planter. We put in that on our strip fresheners, and that way we can go right into the cab and we can adjust the aggressiveness of these residue managers. And with Clean Sweep, we've got a box, a control box in the cab with, a, with basically a valve on it, and we can change the aggressiveness on it. Or new for, for uh, 2020, we're actually putting the, the adjustments into the 2020. So that's, that's a new change that we've got at Precision Planning um, here coming out that I think guys will really like using Clean Sweep. But nonetheless, Using those residue managers, setting them properly is very important and having a clean sweep system to, to move the aggressiveness is awful easy. 
Okay, bottom line, is it making us any money to do strip freshening? Here's two-year data from the PTI farm, 18 and 19, where we're running in. This is first-year corn, okay? And we've seen some pretty nice responses. In 2018, we were seeing over 10 bushel response from strip freshening. In 2019, we were at six bushel. So some pretty good yield increases. We look at the economics of this and we're almost, uh, we're just a little over $21 an acre advantage by strip freshening. And again, I think it all comes down to how good we weathered over the fall and whether we need to do this. But if we have to get a strip freshener out here, it will definitely work. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is strip freshening is a viable option, I think, to resurrect or to rebuild fall strip till that really didn't weather properly over the winter. And remember, we think high-speed travel is necessary to allow the ability to mix soil and build proper berms. Also, remember residue management. Wiping that residue away is awful important to think about as well. Eliminate that hair pinning, potential hair pinning of residue, wicking moisture away, and if you're corn after corn, carbon penalty concerns. So for more information or questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching.